When I walk through the woods near my home, I'm consistently distracted by animal tracks. The runways of snowshoe hares moving between thickets, the cloven prints made by moose and deer, and the trails of martens and fishers as they bound through the woods looking for prey. Yet there's one animal absent in these trackways in winter, an omnivore that survives on the bounty of summer. Tucked safely within their dens, bears hibernate through winter using some of the most remarkable adaptations of any mammal. Compelled by instinct and guided by the knowledge of their previous experiences, brown and black bears spend summer and fall seeking the most calorie-rich foods. In the final weeks before hibernation, they will eat tens of thousands of calories per day. It's a purposeful strategy to become seasonally obese and survive winter's famine. Well endowed with fat reserves, bears retreat to dens as cold temperatures and a lack of food make survival increasingly untenable for such a large omnivore. Inside the den, bears fast without eating, drinking, or even urinating or defecating. Over a period of several weeks, a bear's body temperature declines by 8 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Many of its organs, including the kidneys, are almost completely shut down. A hibernating bear experiences a heart rate so low, with so little blood circulating through its arteries, that a person experiencing the same condition would die. Overall, its metabolism slows by more than two-thirds compared to summer. Fat is the fuel that permits a bear to survive hibernation. Metabolizing fat produces the body heat and water that is necessary to keep the bear warm and hydrated. Fat also provides a mother bear with the energy to produce the milk that is needed by her newborn cubs. Although body fat is a clean burning fuel for hibernating bear, it still faces several physiological challenges. Despite their reliance on body fat, hibernating bears continue to utilize some lean tissue. Even with limited movements, they will burn muscle, and this creates waste products that can poison the animal. Without exercise or an incoming stream of calcium, we would also expect their bone density to significantly decrease. Yet hibernating bears are not poisoned by their own metabolic wastes, and they remain healthy without exercise. While hibernating, bears recycle their metabolic waste and transform it into usable protein, which they then incorporate back into lean tissue. They maintain their bone health by conserving calcium in their bodies through the expression of different genes that influence bone growth, and they may possess the ability to suppress the mechanisms that control bone turnover. If a bear suffers from a broken bone or wound, it can even heal those injuries while in the midst of hibernation. In spring, after their months-long fast, bears exit the den much leaner than the previous fall, yet they retain their health. If we can unlock the adaptive secrets of bear hibernation, then bears may provide us with novel treatments for some of humanity's most chronic and frustrating health problems, such as kidney disease, heart disease, and osteoporosis. Understanding how bears stay healthy while resting for months at a time could help those of us who suffer traumatic injuries or long-term illnesses to maintain our muscle and bone health while our movements are restricted. Let's face it, many of us have considered sleeping through a stressful time. And that's what bears do. They aren't avoiding the stress of world events or politics, but the stress imposed by their environment. The hibernating bear is a physiologic and metabolic marvel, a survivor with the resiliency to endure great famine and maintain good health.